All right. So here, uh, being a political time, uh, in 2016 presidential election, an election poll of 100 voters produced the result of the table where 23 men voted for Clinton, 29 for Clint women for Clinton, 26 men for Trump, and 22 women for Trump. So that's our table. And we're letting you be the universal set of 100 voters. C is a set of voters for Clinton. T is a set of voters for Trump. M is a set of male. And W is a set of female. And so we're supposed to find the following. All right, so uh, let's maybe start drawing a diagram. That might be a good place to start. And maybe let's make it big enough so we can read it. So here we have our universal set. And it looks like we want Trump and women is what it's going to look like because those are the key pieces they're asking for. So we'll have a T and... We'll have a W, okay? All right, how many women also uh, voted for Trump? So 22 voted for Trump as well as they were women. So 22 is going to be our number in here, okay? And how many uh, women are there total that didn't vote for Trump? Well, that was 29. And then over here, how many voted for Trump that were not women? Well, that's going to be our 26. So we kind of are looking at these numbers here, it looks like. okay. And so how many are left over? Well, there's 23 left over after we do that. And so that was really a quick way to do it and break it apart here. And so now what we can do is we can find the number of T intersect W. Well, T intersect W, that's just 22. So like I said, sometimes drawing the Venn diagram first is a lot easier. Sometimes you can get it, in this case, right off the table, not too bad. How about the number in T intersect W prime? Okay, so W prime is going to be everything outside of here, and it's going to intersect T. Well, there's only 26 of those because we're not including the ones out here. So that's just going to be 26. Now we want the number of W intersect T prime. And so when we do that one, how many are not in T is here, and how many are Ws? Well, that's 29. And then the last one, T complement intersect W complement. Okay, so how many are not in T and not in W? Well, that's over here. That's 23. Okay. All right, so let's stop with that one, and we'll come back for one last one.